There was a wealthy farmer who owned a lot of land in Ohio. He built a new barn on his property every time his wife had a baby. He named the barns after each of his children and by the time the story takes place, they had six kids and were expecting number seven. However, the farmer's wife died in childbirth and so did her unborn baby. The farmer went insane with grief and couldn't tend to his farm. The family had no money and the farm started going under. They say that one night, in the depths of his madness and despair, the farmer took an axe and led his children out to the barns where he murdered them, one by one. He buried each of their bodies in the six barns that had been named after them. Then, the farmer went to the seventh barn where he hung himself. As the story goes, all of the barns were eventually torn down and the land was sold off. All except for the seventh barn. Nobody wanted to buy the land because of what had happened there. So it was abandoned and soon fell into disrepair. They say, if you go to that barn at night, you can see the ghost of the farmer hanging from the rafters, his body swinging back and forth in the wind, dwelling on his terrible crime for all eternity. No one was ever really sure where the seventh barn was located, although it was definitely in Ohio. Some said it was the Kranz farm in Cuyahoga Valley and others said it was at Top of the World in Northampton. In 1997, a local Ohio teacher claimed that, after a lot of research, he had finally managed to track down the real location of the infamous Seventh Barn. He said that none of the barns had ever actually been torn down. The land had just been divided up and sold off and the barns had simply been incorporated into neighboring farms. According to the teacher, he was able to pinpoint the correct location because all of the barns on neighboring properties had nameplates above their doors with the names of the children engraved on them. The teacher and his son set out at night to visit the barn, bringing a video camera with them in the hopes of capturing some paranormal activity. The next morning, the teacher's wife reported her husband and son missing. Police found their abandoned car by the roadside. While searching the area, they entered a barn in a nearby field and found the dead bodies of the teacher and his son hanging from the rafters. <laughs> 